Hi friends, very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you how to work with the Angular standalone routing. Well, you already know how to work with that, but I am going to highlight two issues. Well, what is the problem with the Angular standalone navigation in Ionic application? We are going to test it up. And why is the issue that is coming up? Mostly the issue is related to the Ion back button. Otherwise, you won't face any problem. So let's jump into the code right now. As you can see here, I have taken a sample project where the tabs template I'm going to use, which I have created here. And this is the command that I have used to create the project, okay? Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to create a sub page, okay? That means another page, which is which will be redirecting from our tabs one. Let's do that. So let's create another page, Ionic G page, and I'm going to create it within the tabs folder slash sub page so that the routing redirects to the tabs routing one that we have here, okay? Let's check it out. Here we have the sub page, okay? It is created. Now what I'll do, I'm going to read navigate to this particular page. So for doing that, I will go to tab one. All right. And let me just change a few things. I will change it heading to be Ionic or let's say standalone navigation. And there is nothing here. That's great. Now I'll clear up everything because we don't actually need any of those. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to create a button here. Iron button within this button i'll just pass a name here called navigate to sub page and to get rid of the error in the ts file i will simply pass iron button in the imports one also copy it up and i will pass it in the imports here also in this particular way fine the error will go away okay now expand to be blocked all right great and i'll pass a class of iron margin i think that's gonna be fine or if you want to center it up let me pass it so this particular button if i click on it i need to navigate to the sub page how will i do that well i'll simply pass the router link here router link that's going to be equals to the actual route that I'm going to have for slash, then the tabs one. Okay, from the tabs, it will be redirecting directly to the sub page. This is the route. Okay, don't worry about the error. I'm going to fix that. Let me just break it down. All right. So in order to get rid of the error, I need to import this router link. Okay, you can use the router module also, but we are into the standalone one. So I'm not going to import the router module. Instead, I will import directly the router link here. Router link, you can see at angular slash router comma, it is imported right now there is no such error that is coming up here. So in the sub page by default, what do we have? We have this particular stuff. And along with that, in the TS file, we have Ionic module, common module, and forms module. Well, we don't need the forms module and common module. So I'll just remove it. That's what you have to do it on yourself. And in the HTML, I'll have an iron back button into the iron toolbar. One. So iron buttons slot will be start and within that i will have an iron back button okay where i have to pass the default href which is important if i don't pass it it will not show let me just show you let's cut this okay now i will navigate to this particular page so if i click on this particular button let's see what happens well i'm not getting not able to navigate why is that so let me check the navigation here this is sub page right which is within the tab but the tabs is shown here that means if i just remove this from here and pass it in this particular one then it's going to work fine according to the navigation that we have given otherwise if we follow the earlier process then directly passing i have to remove this tabs one then it's going to work okay because in the app.route.ts file it was an empty code so that is why but i want it in this particular way that is why i will refresh it right now okay nothing is showing up what's the routing that is being passed nothing is being passed and there is no such error here all right let me just pass here the default route i need to pass it otherwise now why nothing is showing up here because by default in the app.route.ts earlier it was redirecting to the tabs one but now it is not the case because we have passed the path as tabs not the redirecting one means not the empty one so in order to resolve that problem i'll simply do what i need to pass this particular stuff copy it and paste it directly i, could, I have shown you many a times earlier also so path redirect to i'm going to redirect to the tab one by default that is why this empty path is being given and path will be full 
or you can pass match also. So now it is going to redirect us to the home page or the tabs one page. Then if I click on it now, you can see sub page is working. We are able to navigate and we can see the back button also without having our default href, right? Where is it? This is the one. We don't have any default href. If I click on the back button now, nothing is happening. Just look at that. Why is that so? Because there is some issue. I am going to explain you. But let me show you one more thing. If I pass a default href, what will happen? Default href, let me pass slash tabs slash tab three. Because by default, let me redirect to some other place. When it happens, if I refresh this page, okay, and click on the back button, it will redirect here. But if I'm redirecting to that particular page directly without even, say like I'm going from here and I'm not refreshing it up. The page is not refreshed, right? So if I click on the back button, it should redirect to the tab one, not tab three, because we have come from tab one. That is the stack that is that it is following, but it is not going there. That is a bigger issue that I am facing right now with the iron back button. Okay. Now, how to resolve that problem? I hope you have got the problem right. So the first point, what is the problem? I hope you have understood that. Now we are going to jump into the why is the problem that is coming up. Okay. So the problem is mainly coming up and how I got to know about it. Let me tell you, I have posted this problem in the GitHub for the Ionic team because I was not like getting any issue in the code so which I can resolve and I was not getting any help from the documentation and anything. So I posted it because I thought it was a bug because we were not facing the same problem with ng modules one, right? And I didn't face the problem with the Ionic version 7.0.0 also for the standalone one too. So when I posted this problem, they've told me that in order to fix this problem, why the problem is getting occurred, is because I'm using somewhere's ionic slash angular package, somewhere the standalone one. What does it mean? Let me explain you that in our tab one, we have everything from this particular package the at ionic slash angular slash standalone. But in our sub page by default, the ionic module has been imported. Because of that, it is coming from the package at ionic slash angular. And we cannot pass standalone here. Okay, if I pass it, I'm going to get an error. Now, how to fix this problem? In order to fix this problem, I have to remove this ionic module I cannot use. If you're using ionic module everywhere, still you will have problem in the main.ts file because in the main.ts file, you have the standalone one for the provide ionic angular. And if you try to remove that, let's say if I comment this up, I will get an error mostly. If I pass, there is one way we can work with the ionic module is the import from import providers from and here if I pass ionic module dot for root in this way then what will happen I need to import it at first so it will be imported from let's take it from our sub page we already have that so this standalone I'm going to remove it to get rid of the error I'll copy it and I pass it in the main dot ts1 all right once I do that up the error is gone okay now here i'm getting an error why is that so if i just hover on it it is saying that ionic ion toolbar is not a known element why is that coming up i'm passing ng uh, the ionic module here in the ts5 am i not okay let me just pass it ionic module i'm passing it and it is showing up okay fine it is working but the ui is broken completely broken if i go to let's say this particular one and click on the navigate one here also everything is broken so i think we cannot use this particular stuff here okay let me know if you know a better way to work with but that is why this provide ionic angular is important fine so we have to work with the standalone one if you're working for the standalone project which means what i'm trying to say is you cannot use ionic module anymore you have to remove it okay let me remove it from the imports and i'll be using everything from the standalone one fine now in the sub page what do we have we have add header toolbar and all other stuff let me just clear this thing because i want to reduce the code right so let me just get rid of this stuff and everything here or let's keep it if i'm keeping it also still it's going to be the same i'm going to import one by one iron header it is imported then the toolbar after that the title what next do we have iron buttons if it is not coming up 
showing in your hints, then you have to simply copy and paste. What else do we have? The iron back button and the iron content. Let's have that too. So iron content and finally the iron back button. Let's copy that and I will paste it here. The error is gone. Let's format our document so that it is more visible. Fine. So this thing we have done till now. Everything is converted to the, which one? To the standalone one. All right. We don't have any ionic module used here. So now you can see the design is brought up again to us. If I click on this particular back button, I'm getting navigated to the tab three because the page was reloaded. Now what happens if I navigate from the tab one? Let's check it out. Before that, let me go to the HTML at first and I don't want to use. Okay, let's skip because this is a basic thing which we have and it was looking not it was not looking bad. Now let's try to click on this navigate button once again. It is getting redirected to the sub page. If I click on the back button, this time I will get back to the tab one. This is the fix for the issue. So you have understood three things. What is the problem? Why is this problem coming up and how to fix this particular problem? All right. So I hope you have understood and this is really helpful for you guys if you are facing this kind of a problem with this standalone project. So with this, I'm going to wrap up this lecture today. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you next time.